Hello boys and girls, this is Steve and welcome to a new video on my channel. So as you can see, there's not a lot of activity on this channel uh, for uh, the past few months. Uh, and you may wonder why? Why Steve? Where were you? Well, the answer to this question is pretty simple guys. I got my hands on a PlayStation 3. I know this is uh, not a really good excuse, but I was having so much fun playing games that I wasn't making new videos anymore because I, I just wanted to play all the games I found for cheap on the internet. And um, today it's what I'm going to show you. Yeah, let's go. So I got the PlayStation 3 only a few months ago, but look at how many games I already have. This is crazy, guys. I spend a lot of my time looking at auctions on eBay, and I won several of them for dirt cheap. You're not going to believe it, but most of the games you're seeing right now cost me only two hero each. Sometimes even less. This is crazy. So some games are not two hero each. I'm going to show them to you. So uh, the first game, Army of Two. So this is a, a cooperative third-person shooter. Pretty damn nice. I really like it. Uh, I'm looking forward to play the other one. This one is pretty nice. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's red. One of the first PlayStation 3 games, so it doesn't have trophies. Pretty sad. Uh, Bayonetta here. So Bayonetta, I paid five heroes for this one. Uh, because, yeah, it's, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's almost mint. The game is in really, really good condition, so I paid five for it. I'm not going to tell you what Bayonetta is. <laughs> you already know that. Same here for Black Ops. Not a huge Call of Duty fan, to be honest. I really like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one, but that's it. But Black Ops got a pretty good zombie mode. So um, maybe I'm going to play it, but just for the zombie. Uh, here we have Detroit Retribution. So this is a third-person shooter with a dog. You can ask your dog to go uh, kill enemies behind a wall or to give you a weapon when you don't have more, any more ammunition. This is a pretty good game. I got the plat trophy on it. Really like it. Uh, so here you have a Earth Defense Force game. So Insect Armageddon. And 2025, which got a remastered on the... Uh, on the PlayStation 4. So it's a third-person shooter where you have to kill a lot of giant insects. I love Earth Defense Force. Uh, insect Armageddon is, is, is average. It's not that bad, but eh, not a huge fan of it. And this is the uh, first, I think, in the series, the first game that was made by Americans, because this is a Japanese series, and Insect American was made in the USA, and it's the first game in the series that I want to say is not that good, so yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Americans, but yeah, the, this this game wasn't that great. Uh, Far Cry 4, one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 3, one of my favorite FPS. I really love Far Cry 4. Uh, really nice game. FIFA 14, eh, garbage. I don't care. Uh, this was in uh, one of the auction, one of the many auction I won. I won FIFA 14, so it's here. But at some point, I'm going to just sell it or give it away to someone i don't know uh, gta 4 so i wasn't a huge fan of gta 4 back in the day but i'm now that i've played gta 5 and i've been uh how to say that pretty disappointed with gta 5 i'm sorry but i must be the only one but i'm not a huge fan of gta 5 so basically, I just, uh, at the moment, I just want to replay GTA 4. Even though I wasn't a huge fan, I think GTA 4 was way better. And I want to replay it so I can be sure of what I'm saying. But yeah, I think it was better. And yeah, I want to replay it. It was a good game. Uh, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. So this is my first ever PlayStation 3 game. And even though this is just... Uh, a big demo, you know, a premium version of a demo disc. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. I, I spend a lot of hours on it. Um, Hitman Absolution. I I have played Hitman 2, and that's it. I have never played this one, so I don't know. I'm not a huge uh, stealth game fan, but 
Uh, some people online say it's pretty good. So here we have Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, a really good game, a uh, really nice game made by Platinum. Uh, so the guy who made Bayonetta here. Uh, it's a nice game. Uh, it's really over the top. But the thing is, the game is pretty damn hard sometimes. But yeah, I really like it. Uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles uh, Complete Edition. So this is the version of the game with the DLC and the patch on the disc. Uh, pretty nice. As you can see here, I got this game from Germany because this is a game that has uh, a bit of value at the moment. Uh, I don't know, maybe 10 heroes or something, because it got the DLC, so people want this version. And I, I found this one for, yeah, two heroes online. So this wasn't an auction on eBay, but I found it for two heroes, so I took it. Uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. Um, so people don't like this game back in the day. They say, oh, it's like a mix of Call of Duty and Battlefield. This is shit. I like it. I really like it, especially the online. The online is really good. I love it. Uh, because basically you have the gunplay of Battlefield, but you have the rapidity, uh, you have the speed of uh, Call of Duty. I really, really like it. It's really nice. And you can still play this game online on the PS3. <laughs> Pretty nice. Not a lot of players, of course, but it's still playable. Uh, Nailed. I have no idea what this game is. Apparently it's... Uh, MX versus ATV game, just like the THQ series, but this one is made by Deep Silver and Techland, so basically the guys who made uh, Dead Island. So maybe it's good. I don't know. I, I think it's pretty good. I heard some people saying this was like a, some kind of hidden gem of racing game on the PS3. Need for Speed Shift uh, 1 and 2. I don't know why this one this one is here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Need for Speed Shift 1 and 2. So I really like the first one. People didn't like the Shift series because it's... Uh, it's not real Need for Speed, because this is a series where you are racing on circuit. This is like professional racing. It's not like tuning your cars and doing races for fun in streets, like in Underground or Most Wanted. No, no, this is about being a pro driver on circuit, and people didn't like that. I really like Need for Speed Shift, the first one. Uh, but Shift 2, which is no more called a Need for Speed game, it's just Shift 2... I didn't like it. It was maybe better graphically. The handling of cars is maybe better, but I don't like it that much, honestly. Um, and Need for Speed Old Pursuit is pretty nice. It's about, you know, uh, cops chasing you or you just avoiding cops and everything. It's a pretty nice game, but I think this game was more fun with uh, multiplayer, but I don't know if you can still play it online or not on the PS3. But it was a good game back in the day. I haven't played it in recent years, so I'm not sure if it's still a good game or not. And here, yeah, you have a PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale. You may remember this game from my PlayStation Vita uh, pickup video. And yeah, I really like this game. I don't think it's a masterpiece or whatever, but I really like it. People say it's bad because it tried to copy uh, one other famous brawler game. <laughs> you know what, what game I'm talking about. And I really like PlayStation All-Star. I played it on PlayStation Vita. I got it back on PS3 and I finished it once again. I finished the game with all the characters once again because I think this is a really good game. It's not a masterpiece. It's not very good. It's not a must-have or a must-play, but I think it's decent. Uh, I think it's fun. Rage. So this is the opposite. <laughs> So basically, people say this is bad, and I love it. This is Rage. People say this is awesome because, oh my god, it's made by ID Software. They made Doom. They made Quake. I don't like it. Uh, this game was released in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, when I played it back in the day, the game feels so dated. It's not an open world. The graphics are not the best. The AI is... Eh, you know, the level design is pretty generic. I don't like it. And to be quite honest, I finished it back in the day, but man, sometimes I just wanted to play something better. It's not that good. Wow. Uh, Resident Evil 5 Platinum Edition. So this is Resident Evil 5. So this is the same as GTA. Back in the day, I wasn't a big fan of Resident Evil 5. You know what I mean? But then... I played, I played Resident Evil 6, 
And I was like, oh man, Resident Evil 5 wasn't that bad. <laughs> so yeah, Resident Evil 5, it's the same thing as GTA. Now I want to replay it because I think this is way better than what we have right now. So yeah, uh, I, I, did, I did like it a bit, but I loved so much Resident Evil 4. But yeah, Resident Evil 5 wasn't for me. <laughs> uh, Ridge Racer Unbounded. So, limited edition, by the way. So, as you know, I really like the, the Ridge Racer series. And the thing is, uh, this is like a mix. It's like the bastard child of Ridge Racer and Burnout. And the thing is, it's not a Burnout. And it's not a Ridge Racer. It's just average. It's not that great. You got... Um, I don't know if you can read it here. Oh, it's, it's in French. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so basically, in this game, you can create your own tracks and share them online. So this is a really cool feature. But the thing is... Uh, you cannot share your tracks online anymore. The online servers have been closed, so yeah, too bad. Uh, so here you have SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. So fun fact, I didn't pay for this game. Uh, basically, I went online and I saw someone selling the collector's edition with a ring uh, for five heroes. And I was like, oh wow, five heroes, I'm going to take it. So I buy it, and I received this, the regular uh, edition, and basically I, I send a mail to the, to the seller, and the seller was like, oh no, please don't give me negative feedback, uh, I give you back the money, you keep the game, and we're fine, and I was like, um, okay, <laughs> so yeah, he gave me my five heroes back, and I still have the game. Thanks to him, I guess. Um, oh, and yeah, Smite Under 4 2009. I didn't like the 2008, but this one is pretty cool because you got the... I think it's Road to WrestleMania. Yeah, you got the Road to WrestleMania. This was so cool. Really liked it back in the day. Uh, so, so this is based off the horror movies. I really like it. I like the movies and the game got a lot of flaws and it's you know technically not the best the gameplay is far from being perfect but if you like the horror movies you're really going to enjoy your time on this one. Oh, and by the way this is a really easy plot you just have to finish the game or something like that and you got the plot the plot trophy yeah not a lot of work to do <laughs> and this is ssx so it's not as good as ssx3 but i don't know about you i didn't know ea made a new ssx on the playstation 3 i played it and yeah not the best in the series but really really good game and they add something i don't know if they put the name of it uh on the back uh seems like no they didn't uh, basically they add uh some special races I don't know if they are called extreme or hardcore, I don't remember. But basically, you have to survive in those races. You are literally going to, to get killed in those races. You have to avoid rocks, you have to avoid um, uh, trees, you, have to, uh, you, you need to avoid holes. You are in danger. You are going to get killed if you are doing one little mistake. And I think this is really, really nice. Some kind of survival mode on the SSX games. I really, really like it. It was really nice. Oh, and you have a, a gear system. You can have items that help you to do some, some moves and everything. It's pretty, pretty, pretty damn nice. Uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist. I'm not a huge fan of stealth games, like I said before, but I've played every Splinter Cell games, except this one. I didn't play Blacklist, and I really liked uh, Conviction back in the day, you know, the one before this one. And uh, yeah, I haven't played Blacklist, so I'm, it's what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, UFC Undisputed 3, uh, so it's a UFC game, so it was, I think it's the last one, but I'm not sure, that was made by THQ, and it's a UFC game, it's really good, but yeah, it's just a fighting slash sport game, so you have to like it to enjoy the game, but yeah, wet, so this is a, f um, oh fuck, how do you call that, uh, a beat them up, a beat them up, yeah, so this is a beat them up, uh, made by Bethesda, and um, some people called it an hidden gem. I'm not going to lie, it was fun, 
but the game has so many flows, it's crazy. Uh, Sometimes you want to jump and you don't know why, but she doesn't want to, to grab the edge and you're just dying again and again. You're like, what the hell? And sometimes you're going to jump like a jackass and it works. Yeah, I don't know, but you can do a lot of cool combos, you can run on the walls, you can use your gun, then your katana and everything, it's pretty nice, it's pretty fun, it's a good game, but uh, yeah, it didn't age really well, I think, but it's still decent, if you see it, you should pick it, it's nice. Uh, here we have Hicksman Origins Wolverine, so this is once again the same thing, this is a beat them up. That looks like more like God of War, but with Wolverine instead of Kratos. It's really, really good. I loved it. I finished it in normal, I believe. And now I have unlocked the hard difficulty. So I need to replay it, but in hard. It's going to be fun. And here you have the games that I haven't played yet. Because, yeah, I have played everything here except those. I haven't played them yet. So we have Alien Isolation. Nostromo edition. I didn't know this game was on the PS3. I thought it was a PS4 only game, uh, but no, it's also on PS3. So here we go. I'm going to play it on PS3 and I will tell you if it's good or not. Army of Two, 40th Day. So I've played the first one. I loved it. So I'm really looking forward to play this one. Really nice uh, third person shooter. Batman Harkham Origins, so I don't have it on PS3 yet, but I have played back in the day, um, how it was called, uh, Arkham Asylum, and it was really, really good, and uh, yeah, now I want to I want to try this one. Uh, I know between those two you have uh, Arkham City, but some people told me that this, uh, story-wise, was the first one. It's not going to spoil anything or whatsoever. You don't have to play the other ones to understand this one. So I'm going to play this one. Uh, it's going to be cool. So here we have the two Castlevania games, Lord of Shadows. So yeah, like I said, if they are here, it's because I haven't played them yet. Uh, people say those games killed the Castlevania series. I have no idea if it's true or not, but yeah, uh, I'm going to play them. They look cool, honestly. The Last of Us. I haven't played it yet. Sorry, guys. I know. I'm going to play it after I've played the Uncharted game. Of course, the Uncharted games don't have anything to do with The Last of Us, because it's total different series, but it, they are made by Naughty Dog. And I want to enjoy the Naughty Dog games in order. The free Uncharted, then The Last of Us. Here we have the two Prince of Persia. So you have the reboot here, that apparently is really good. And here you have uh, Forgotten Sands. So apparently this is like a, a game that is... How to say that? Like like, like it's going back in time. Like it's a bit like the... Uh, for, no, it wasn't Forgotten. The Sands of Time. Here we go. It's like the Sands of Time on PS2, but on PS3. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, people say this is really good. But I don't understand why they made this reboot... And then they continue like nothing happened. Just like the Devil May Cry series. Like they made a reboot and they... No, no, nothing happened. Let's go. Okay, why not? So here we have the collector's edition. So like I said, everything except the one I told you, I paid two hero each game. But those are collector's edition and I paid a bit more than that. Except this one. This one, I paid two hero for it. And it's Contum of Solace, 007. So it's a steelbook, basically. Uh, really good game back in the day. Unfortunately, you don't have access to the online multiplayer anymore. And uh, the solo was good, but yeah, the online was really the thing that I was looking forward and... <laughs> You can't play it anymore online, so yeah, rip, rest in peace. So here you have Devil May Cry 4, Collector's Edition. Uh, I really love those old steelbook with a PlayStation 3 uh, brand engraved on it. It's really, really, not, not engraved, what I'm saying, print on it. Uh, see, I can, I can remove a plastic sleeve. It's on the Steelbook directly. I really like the style of it. Because when you... Nowadays, on Steelbook, you don't have a PlayStation Mansion anymore. And it looks like Steelbook from movies. You know, like, like normal Blu-rays. It doesn't look like video games anymore. And I don't like that. I like when, when you have PlayStation... On, on the on the steelbook. It looks great. It looks good. Like here with Killzone 2 Collector's Edition. 
Looks pretty nice. I like it. So Killzone 2 here. And here I have Killzone 3. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but here it says limited collectors. Like, what the hell? It is limited? It is collector? No, it's both. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Killzone 3 Collector's Edition. So they are basically just steelbook with a DLC code inside. Yeah, awesome. Little Big Planet 2. So this is the same. It's a collector's edition and limited at the same time. I don't get it. And here we have Gran Turismo 5 collector's edition. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 collector's edition. Pretty nice. And we have the Uncharted Trilogy. This is so cool, man. This is so awesome. So yeah, the Uncharted Trilogy. Look at that. So you have all three games in one uh, big box. Pretty cool. I like it. So I paid, basically, I paid four heroes for every collector's edition you see here. I'm going to try to put that back. Ugh, here we go. So I paid four heroes for every collector's edition you see there, except Little Big Planet 2. I paid five for this one. But I don't care. I mean, it's Little Big Planet 2. It's a collector's edition. I really wanted it. So, yeah. And fun fact the first games uh, I have purchased online for, for my PlayStation 3 are those ones. They are the collector's edition. I saw collector's edition for four heroes and this one for five. I was like, no, I'm getting them all, getting them all for this price. Pretty awesome. And the Naruto, uh, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I finished the game at 100%. I really liked it. It was really fun. I'm not a Naruto fan, but it was really nice. And Gran Turismo 5 is such an awesome racing game. I love it. And for the Uncharted, I paid 10 heroes. Yeah. Uh, and I think 10 euros is a really, really good price for all the, the Uncharted games. I've already played and finished uh, Uncharted 1 and 2. I got the Plat Trophy for them. And now I need to play uh, Uncharted 3. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go, guys. This is the beginning of my PlayStation 3 collection. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, to, to leave a like and stuff like that. And yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.